We are now in the middle of a coronavirus pandemic that nobody expected. Uh, we need strong and competent leaders to step up now more than ever. Uh, it's, it's very difficult to know just how to react in these unpredictable times. But you really can't just sit around all the time worrying. You have to be active in order to succeed. Um, when you put a fly and a bumblebee together in a bottle, uh, the fly will be the first one to escape. Uh, the bumblebee, on the other hand, is really just going to crawl around, uh, just looking around for the exit, and it will end up dead still inside the bottle. Meanwhile, the fly will zip all around inside the bottle and eventually pop out through the exit. That's why it's important uh, to act very decisively in our current situation, or at least we have to try to do so. A leader's duty is to lead others to success. And this is called the first penguin effect. Uh, when we're stuck at some kind of roadblock, what we need is someone to take the initiative in order for us to break through. And that's why I try everything when facing adversity. When it seems like there's nothing to be done, I just try this and that. It, it's important for a leader to get down and dirty. While I was being filmed in this scene, uh, climbing up Mount Everest in the Himalayas, it was supposed to be minus 40 degrees. So I was outfitted with a parka while I was being filmed in the studio. I was sweating quite a lot as I was moving all around, performing all kinds of actions wearing this parka. Uh, all my underclothes were drenched. You have to be willing to do the lowest forms of work, to scrape the bottom of the barrel and do anything and everything. That's the job of a leader. Some people are able to thrive in the face of adversity and become even stronger. There's even a way to measure this ability. It's called adversity quotient. Atomy uh, is a company with an inherently high adversity quotient. Uh, there are people that give up when facing adversity, and they just take a seat. We call those people quitters because they believe that everything is hopeless. There are other types of people too. They think, I've explored all my options, and I guess there's just nothing else I can do. And we call these people campers. Then there are people who face adversity and are able to overcome and stand over it. They chase after adversity to challenge themselves. These people are known as climbers. Yeah, I've used this image uh, of somebody climbing Mount Everest to illustrate the role of the climber to all of you here today. Uh, we are now in the middle of the fourth industrial revolution. There are many people who are just wandering about without any direction and they think, what am I supposed to do? And many of them are now unemployed. The government may implement some policies for them, but they are largely ineffective Band-Aid style solutions. However, if we know well the special features of the fourth industrial revolution, then the leaders of Atomy will have absolutely nothing to be afraid of. Hyperconnectivity is one of the features of the fourth industrial revolution. In this new era, Atomy is a company uh, 
that is designed to fully integrate with this hyper-connected system. Our entire company system is built around the concept of connectivity. We're a business that operates through personal platforms, making connection after connection. Since the foundation of our company is based on connectivity, uh, we are highly suited for business in the fourth industrial revolution. When we talk about the fourth industrial revolution, we talk using terms such as AI, uh, IoT, self-driving cars, drones, AR, VR, XR, Zoom, things like this. So, uh, when we're talking about artificial intelligence or self-driving cars, or drones. All of these things are examples of business tools that Atomy can make use of. Uh, we're not we're not a company that provides uh, AR, VR, or XR technology. Instead, we're a company that utilizes technology, uh, such as virtual reality and extended reality. Another example is Zoom. By using this program, we can have online meetings with people far away, in the comfort of our very own homes. When you look at programs like Zoom, in this period of the fourth industrial revolution, we shouldn't be considering Zoom our competition, but as a technological tool to be used for our benefit. We're also approaching the drone era. In the future, we will use drones as a tool to deliver our products. That's why I'm telling you today that we have nothing to fear from the fourth industrial revolution. Instead of drowning, we're going to ride the wave of the fourth industrial revolution and progress faster and further than we ever have before. A lot of countries are struggling right now with national economic depressions of 20 to 30 percent because of the COVID-19 pandemic. In contrast, Atomy has been achieving a sales growth of 35 percent. Even considering the fact that we're not including sales from the Chinese market, our sales have grown 35%. Uh, a lot of people have benefited from this growth. We have five members promoted today, making over $40,000 a month. And they were able to be promoted during this COVID-19 pandemic because Atomy is not affected by this crisis which is why we're able to record a continuous growth in sales. As a company, Atomy has the fundamentals to overcome times of crisis by providing opportunities and solutions. I think we are really fortunate to be in this position. Atomy has uh, an ABS an ABS policy. What is the meaning of ABS? It means the accelerator, brake, and steering wheel system that you have in your cars. ABS is the safety feature that controls all of these components, and these three components are very important while you're driving. As a company, uh, when we have to step on the accelerator, uh, press the brake pedal, or change directions with the steering wheel, Atomy has the capability to do all of this in a timely manner to ensure a safe ride. Conceptually, we are a company in the driving seat. We are now turning the steering wheel and driving towards the ONTACT age. We're heading to the right direction as we progress into the future. Many scholars predict that we will have an ONTACT era in the future. And they've been saying this for a long time now. And since Atomy has been preparing for this beforehand, we're able to enter the ONTACT era faster because of the COVID-19 crisis.
the obstacles of this bleak economic period uh, can be overcome if we just hit the gas pedal even harder. Uh, that's why we have entered the Chinese market this year. And we are preparing to enter the markets in India, Hong Kong, and Colombia as well. That's three more overseas branches. So this year alone, we'll have expanded into four additional international markets. And next year, we're planning uh, to expand into England, Brazil, Turkey, the CIS state of Kazakhstan, and New Zealand. So, in the face of this terrible COVID-19 pandemic, we have to stomp on the gas pedal even harder as we are battling against fierce headwinds to gain a faster entry into these international markets and to continue growing as a company. Atomy is a company that is stronger when it's faced with adversity. Hardships only make this company more powerful. Uh, as the president, I will take the lead and I will go to any depths doing my best to overcome any and every obstacle and thus ensure the success of this company. There's a Korean expression that goes, Pung Shin Young Dung. When the wind blows hard, the kite will fly higher. That's what this expression means. So, when the winds pick up, we don't get blown away. We harness that energy and we fly high, rising to new heights. I want all of you to take this saying to heart. If you consider yourselves leaders, then you'll get right back on your feet after facing a setback and you will never stop your march forward. Our company is operating at high speeds. We are a consumer-oriented company uh, that operates uh, under the auspices of the Korean Fair Trade Commission. We received a CCM certification that recognizes excellence in consumer-oriented companies. This CCM certification is only awarded to 100 Korean companies among countless enterprises. It's an honor that is not easy to receive, but Atomy has been awarded this recognition in Korea. And we've also received a similar award in China. The China Market Supervisory Board gave us an award in recognition of Atomy's excellence. This time around, we received three huge awards. The National Product Guarantee from China, which recognizes that the products being sold by Atomy are officially guaranteed for quality. We've also received recognition as a company that distributes excellent products. We were also recognized for our excellent financial credit in China. We received, in total, three awards from China. Today, I'd like to talk about why you have to write your life scenario and how to write it. I'd like to answer these questions. It's important that you consider your success in Atomy as you write your life scenario. We can say that this will be the very core of your success. Um, the, the biggest reason of why people tend to fail is because they never really think about succeeding. They never succeed because they don't think that they need to be successful. When you consider your own life scenario, you need to be determined to succeed. You need to draw a vivid picture in your mind of the way that you will succeed. That is why it's incredibly important to write your life scenario. If you have a vivid picture of your future success in your mind, your life is going to undergo radical changes. Atomy has a system in place 
where you can make fifty to one hundred thousand dollars a month. If you want to be a person who makes one hundred thousand dollars a month, and if you vividly picture that in your own mind, then you're going to have a new look, a sparkle in your eyes. Your entire attitude is going to change, and you won't be walking around looking discouraged. You will be standing straight, filled with confidence. You'll be filled with pride, and your self-esteem will skyrocket. Your eyes will not reflect defeat, and you'll have the eye of a tiger that is pursuing its prey, ready to pounce on its enemies. That is how your look will change. Your voice won't be tiny, squeaking like a timid little mouse. You will roar loudly and confidently like a lion. That is how your voice will change. It all depends on how you think about your future self. If you envision yourself as someone successful, then the present you, your facial expressions, your voice, that sparkle in your eyes, and your whole attitude will transform. This is something that is scientifically proven. As I've said in a previous lecture, you don't need to eat a real pomegranate to salivate whenever you think of one. Uh, you can salivate just at the very act of thinking about eating it. So, when it comes to our bodies, our thoughts have a massive influence. If you can use your thoughts to transform your bodies, then you will have the power to change others around you. There are so many unfortunate people who are miserable because of the COVID-19 pandemic. They're lost and they don't know what to do. They're living in fear and panic. There is a way out for these people. I have found a business that earns me fifty to one hundred thousand dollars a month. This is the direction that I'm heading. So let's do this together. Don't just sit there. That is the battle cry you must declare. We can do this together. You have to declare your resolution to those around you, to your loved ones. These days, scholars are scholars are predicting even more difficult times in the upcoming days. We used to live uh, in an 80-20 society which according to Pareto's law, means that 20% of the people had 80% of all the wealth. And because 80% of the population only had 20% of the total wealth, we had a situation where 20% were rich and 80% were poor. And this was the state of the world in the past. But then one day, that ratio changed to 1 to 99 which means that only 1% of the population became rich, while 99% of them remain poor, a world where the middle class inevitably collapses. Nowadays, uh, there are rumblings of a new change. In the future, our society won't be characterized by the 1 to 99 ratio, but by a ratio of 0 0.001 to 99.99. .99. This is what the experts are predicting. If that's the case, then who will make up the 0.001%? Well, we've been hearing a lot that the 0.001% will be the owners of platform businesses. No matter how much wealth they manage to accumulate, the rest of the population, the 99.99%, .99 are predicted to become poor. The 99.99% will become the new proletariat, the new poor. There's even a term for the new poor called the precariat. You're doomed if you become a precariat. That is why it's essential that you own a platform business. However, in order to get a platform business, you need a lot of specialized knowledge or capital or something else that is just extraordinary 
for you to start your own platform business. But to you, you Atomy members, this personal platform business, or PPM for short, is freely shared with you by Atomy. Because that has always been the original purpose of Atomy as a company. So, members who become platform owners will not be isolated like little lonely islands. By acting as a hub, we can connect platform owners to other platform owners so that the members of the general public can become platform business owners themselves. This is what it means to live in a hyper-connected society where we not only make personal connections, but also connections between platform members to other platform members. We can enjoy mutual prosperity as platform operators. Through this system, we are looking beyond a platform era, and we are preparing for the post-platform era, an era of personal platforms. That is what we are doing here in Atomy. Even though it's difficult, to predict 10 or 20 years into the future, Atomy has been preparing for the next 100 years. We know that the personal platform world will remain even after 100 years. In the age of personal platforms, where individual platforms become interconnected, we can save and raise from the grave the economically dead connecting them into our network of platforms. This platform is an ecology of life, and that is the essence of the Atomy business. This is a new business model, unlike anything ever seen before. Having a personal platform business is a way to ensure success and financial security for the next 100 years. And it's something that I'm very much looking forward to. Uh, through these personal platforms, we will be able to live a balanced life, taking care of your health, attending to your loved ones, pursuing knowledge, and contributing to society. This balanced life can be yours when you join Atomy. I wish you all the success in the world as you pursue this goal. The last thing that I want to emphasize is this. All of you really need to write down your life scenarios. Write about your own life and help your partners write about theirs. Please guide and encourage each other. And after you write that life scenario of your future success, please show it to your family and to all the people you have around you. Tell them that you've started a business where you can make fifty to $100,000 a month and tell them that this is a dream that you will definitely accomplish. Tell them that there are already many people who have achieved their dreams with Atomy. Tell them that you can do it too. I want you to tell this to everyone around you. But if you're going to announce that you're going to make fifty to $100,000 a month, it's possible that you may have a feeling of fear deep inside you. The fear that I'm talking about is when you ask yourself, what if I fail after announcing this? And that is the fear that can creep up on you. But what you need in this situation is to have courage. Having courage doesn't mean that you don't feel fear, not at all. Having courage means being able to face and to defeat that fear. When I first started this company, I announced that I was going to make everybody rich and that I would give you a million dollars with a forklift when you became an imperial master. And I proclaimed loudly that I would make Atomy an international company. Do you think I was 100% confident when I was saying these things? No, I really wasn't. I felt fear as well, but even though I had this fear, I boldly shouted those announcements. This company will make you successful. Let's do this together. 
Everything that I had imagined in my mind has now become true. Do you think back then my chance for success was 100%? No way. It wasn't even 1%. I needed courage to overcome my doubts and make those bold statements. And as I did this, that 1% possibility of success became 2%, which grew to 5%, then 10%. The odds of success kept growing. And now others are proclaiming that Atomy has arrived as a global company and that it boasts successful members. Now it's the people who doubted Atomy who are the laughing stocks. As you write your life scenario, the first thing you have to do is declare out loud, this is who I'm going to be. Even though you may have your doubts, it is important that you shout this. It's not to make others believe you. It doesn't matter what they think as long as you make your proclamation loud and clear. Ladies and gentlemen, have courage. Courage isn't the absence of fear. Courage is confronting your fear and going ahead regardless. I want all of you to have true courage and to be successful. Thank you very much.